like, what? What are you niggas doing here? It's a strip club. This ain't no motherfucking lucky club. If you ain't got no money, get out of here. Get out of here. You not grown enough yet. You not getting enough money yet. Nigga, I'm going to throw the money. Why? All you niggas standing here, what is all you niggas standing here for? This ain't no motherfucking lucky club. This is a strip club. Throw the dollars. I don't baby. Hey, look. Hey, Bosco, since you doing all that woofing and popping and playing, I don't even know you, cuz. I don't even play like that at all. So I tell you what, since my niggas, uh, uh, Blueface and C-Max finna get down, you know, do their little charity event, me and you can get down, cuz. Tell WAC 100 or whoever, I'ma holler at a couple of my blood niggas so they can holler at you or whatever. We set it up, cuz, cuz I don't play and ain't no niggas finna play with me. That's for damn sure. I don't even talk about niggas. I don't even talk about niggas. I don't even mention niggas. I don't do no rap, nothing. I don't do none of that because I don't even know why niggas will play with me. But I'll tell you what, it'd be a little extra money in your pocket or something. We could go ahead and do that little boxing on babies. I'm going to show you what's up. Niggas just sock you to bed on the damn homie. DW Flame. Blood. Nigga, you want to respond two, three months later? Talk, acting like you want to fight. I don't know why a nigga would play with me. Blood, you big zesty bitch. Uh, blood, we can squabble up, blood. The fuck you think a nigga scared of you or something, blood? Big buff ass cream pie, blood. Like, blood, I don't give a fuck. Tail whack. Matter of fact, you from Long Beach, nigga. Tell Snoop Dogg we want to squabble up, nigga. I made a hundred thousand with Snoop. Tell Snoop Dogg, nigga. Big zesty bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, I, I see niggas woke up feeling they self this morning when the dead homies cut called me a big zesty bitch. Since you calling me out my name, doing shit like that, on oh, babies, when I sock you out, I'm going to stand over you and get to yelling all type of bullshit on insane crib. You want to keep on playing with me? I'm going to turn cut a juice. Y'all go ahead. And all the people in cut comments, go put some money behind cut because my niggas need somebody to bet. If you look, it's only niggas in cut comments talking about, oh, this nigga, woo, woo. Come on, cut. Stop playing with me, nigga. On oh, insane crib, I'm going to show you what's going on. I'm a seawalk. I'm a seawalk after I knock her. Do we gonna laugh or we gonna fight? But this ain't no motherfucking looking club. Yo, yo, yo! It's Big Ant, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick. Bosco and DW Flame get going at it. Uh, this started with Bosco in that very first clip. He did a reaction type video making fun of DW Flame. If you know Bosco, that's what Bosco whole niche is on the internet. Find these things to clown people about and point out, hey man, like sex play niggas. Like, hey bro, you doing some fruity shit or some, some zesty shit and everything like that. This actually happened a couple months ago, so DW Flame probably just been sitting up, saw it. Of course, the way the internet work, a nigga gonna see it when you say something about it because somebody gonna clip it up Somebody going to grab it and somebody going to send it to them or tag them in it. Or the algorithm for madness is what we call YouTube. A nigga might open his phone and that bitch just be right there. That's how the game work on the internet and when you got a cell phone. But DW Flame popped out. Hey, nigga, and I like what he thinking. Shit, nigga, don't play with me like that. And he, hey, he right, nigga. Nigga got to stand on his shit. Got to stand on. Hey, nigga, don't fuck around with me like that, bro. I don't play like that. But what we can do, you know what? Tell WAC 100 set up the fight. Because they just got to put out there with C-Mac. Hey, he finna get in the ring with Blueface. They working on lining that up. So, nigga, we can get on the undercard and get on the same fight card and do our thug thizzle too, which it makes sense. Everybody get a bag. DW Flame, he already got a lot of things going on. He got dope music, videos, and shit he be doing. Then he got something doing. He doing that wilding out. It's going to make his whole brand go up. Bosco 100, you get another fight check. He said he had got 100000 with Snoop and uh, DW Flame from Long Beach. So, hey, nigga, all this shit makes sense to what these niggas going to get a hefty bag. And I know goddamn well, nigga, I'm jumping in the ring with a nigga for 100000 straight up. Let's get out there and handle that, nigga. Win, lose, or draw. We paid. I sacrificed for six weeks or whatever. Get my ass in shape. I have a long I need to get in shape. So it's a good look for everybody, man. And I like this with L.A. and that culture of L.A., Eaglewood, and all the surrounding areas, uh, Compton, uh, Long Beach, because we know they come from that environmental gang culture and historic 
historical gang culture that get passed down. But seeing these niggas able to get in these rings and niggas coming from the streets and becoming businessmen and making a hundred thousand, fuck it, man, to, for some shit they would do in the streets for free anyways, I salute it. I'm supporting it all the way. C-Mac and Blueface, I'm supporting that. I'm supporting DW Flame and everything he got going and Bosco. Y'all get in the ring and do y'all shit, man. One thousand for shit show. Stay on your pivot.